Start capture anyway. Yeah. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Yeah. Hello. We're on the one and the only. I am a hobo, Tom. And wait a second. What shirt am I wearing? This is my NASCAR shirt. Oh wow, that's. Yeah, and there's gonna be some lag on this video because for some reason. Because this is just like being weird. I don't know. I'm not here to talk about my technical issues. God knows I've seen enough technical issues to last me a couple lifetimes. Especially with all the computers that I've gone through. Which reminds me. It's probably pretty soon I do have to get a new computer there, buddy. You have to go the way of the dodo bird. But oh well. Enough about that. I'm here to talk about one thing and one thing only. The 24 hours of 24 hour Rolex race that I was at. Um, actually, it was three days because the first day was like the BMW Endurance Challenge. So that's going to be the first video you see. And then the next couple of parts, and I think I narrated it a little bit. I don't know. I'm still not used to my Apple iPhone, so I have no idea how it works. But then we get to the 24-hour race. I know it's pretty neat. I saw a Bob's Big Boy. I haven't seen a Bob's Big Boy in like 30 years. And my coworker saw that Bob's Big Boy. We all took selfies by it. Like, we didn't care about the races. We wanted some Bob's Big Boy. That's old school, folks. Yeah. So it's going to be a little bit of a 24-hour race. Um, there were no fireworks. They've been getting stingy. About them fireworks recently. Which is never a good thing. I like me some fireworks, man. It's one of the perks of working there. Get to see free fireworks. What else could I possibly want? But who knows? Uh, this is probably why my computer's lagging. It's trying to do like 50 other things right now. Oh well. That's enough about that. Enjoy the video of the BMW Endurance four hour endurance and the Rolex 24 international race. There are some pretty good cool shots. There is some pretty decent information. They're going to be a free country concert. As long as she doesn't song about, sing about women, trucks, and booze, which seems to be the three components of any country song. Generally, my truck broke down. My woman left me. And my beer is warm. Yeah, for the most part, that sums up most 90% of the country songs. But hey, I'm seeing a beautiful, gorgeous woman who's all woman, and I'm kind of happy ish. And she likes country. So it's that old phrase happy woman, happy hobo. Again, I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. Oh, um, very quickly, news and notes for those of you more so interested in the pro wrestling aspect of the show. I cannot go to the Monday Night Raw in Orlando. I have to close that night, so there won't be any video about that. To make up for it, um, tomorrow I'm going to have my Ven NXT Vengeance predictions. And I might even live stream a little bit. Or I'll probably get to live stream Impact Wrestling. I have not done a Thursday beer night in Impact Wrestling in a while. Friday I close, Saturday I close. Sunday I have no clue what I'm doing. Besides hoboing, working, going to the gym. Oh, wow. I get to the gym this this whole weekend because that makes up for last week and I don't know I shall try to keep you guys informed as far as Thursday impacts always been kind of my show um, again I have to thank some people Sonny Bimbo this time it wasn't triple A's fault but triple A has been knocked down a couple notches I do have to stay off my triple A fix it's like cocaine it's, you think it's good for you. It's really not. But oh well. Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. 
There's probably a country song about that too. Oh well, enjoy the video about racing. Oh wait a second, because this is a video about racing. Hit that. This house is on fire. This house is on fire. Hope you enjoy this video about the BMW Endurance Challenge and the Rolex 24. Again, if you like this content, let me know. I do try to vary it a little bit, mainly with special events. Um, oh yeah, with that being said, I will be doing something about Speed Week here in Daytona Beach, as well as Biketoberfest, and hopefully Rockville as well. So I'll see everyone later, and again, stay posted for more wrestling content from the one and only Hobo Tom. And who knows, you might see a new woman on the channel too. Okay, in there we are, there's Daytona International Airport. Right over there, that's the Speedway, baby. That place is gonna be packed today. So I have to go, because I can kind of see the signs from there. Again, there's that, that evil mall. I have no idea how that place stays in existence. But yep, there we go. Just another bright, fanciful morning here in Daytona Beach. Are you ready for the races? There we go, there's my gate showing up. Oh, there's a tram. There's a bunch of my coworkers. Already on that freaking tram. Because this is when I needed to get here because it does take 20 minutes to walk there. Look at all them happy people. Man, they're really bugged up here, man. Let's see here. I guess I have this one guy here. Always a neat video. Most patients act to normal activities the next day, so don't wait. It can look even brighter with the help of LASIK Plus. Right now, yeah, like LASIK, treated in November. That's why my dollars on your prime with guaranteed financing. So, book your free consultation. Visit mylasikoffer.com. That's mylasikoffer.com. The patient's choice for LASIK. Must mention this promotion to be treated in November of 2022 to qualify for $1,000 off your full size on standard weight like. Well, it's somewhat or well, it's somewhat organized. So here's all the station people that go back here. I guess I should probably follow everyone else. There are probably some of my coworkers here. You know, I have NEP station, I don't know, True Grit. I have no idea what some of this stuff is. Man, that fence is really close. Trams only. Here we go. See that nice sign that says employee? That's me. There we go. There's a sign I haven't seen in a while. I'm gonna park somewhere safe, I think. cars here I'm gonna work the 200 level again baby favorite level bye all right I gotta get there you go they seem to be starting Dave something Thomas, you got copy Dave Thomas that's my radio you guys hear it you know, truly does there's a few benefits here here's our beautiful Rolex Go 24 there's a the sun too which is always nice to see hey Dave and this the new stuff. Uh, I got two from Tomoka Oh wow, it's warm out here. 
Man, no flyover? That's soft, man. Okay, so the lights are up. So you can tell the stands are almost empty. They're doing a little practice run or something. 20 minutes. I get to go home, man. Pace cars. So this is the Rolex 24 practice here at night. See here, I'm going for distance, I'm going for speed, but the sun went down a long time ago and then someone left with the cup. And then I forget the rest of the song. But it is back to the official start, or soon to be the official start of the 24 hour race. Hopefully I will send you guys some more videos of that, some better videos. I'm on my way there, the sun is not even up yet. And someone left with a cup somewhere. So I'll see you guys later. There you, go. you might not be able to see it from the glare, but right there, those are the race, that's the racetrack here, well, in the morning. I'll try and get a picture of the sunrise for you guys. Copy that. Level 3, exalt a copy. Hundred exalt a copy. Chevy 3, copy.
give folks a little bit different view. Let's see here, this is the last day of the 24. I have the windows open. That low droning hum you can you guys hear. Or actually the race cars. And I'm on my road, getting ready to go to the parking, my parking um, location. Oh, they have cones here. Yep, there's the racetrack, last day of the 24 hour race. Victory Podium in Rudolph Mortgage, Victory Lane. No worries. All right, thank you so much, Michelin Man. Time for the fun stuff. There's some bubbly at your feet. It's a hot one out there this morning and this afternoon. Time to spray some champagne in Victory Lane. Ooh. That's pretty good. LMP2 is the new leader of the clubhouse. And meanwhile, the entire team is getting soaked over there. 